there's a story in, in my book that a, a friend told me in Norway, and they were basically uh, they wanted to change the way people bought train tickets in Norway. The only way they could buy train tickets in Norway, this is years ago, was through these these machines that were you know controlled by the train system. They were <laughs> embedded software. You could not update them without going to each and every machine and and basically upgrading the embedded software on it. It was old days, you know. They were like, we got to get this on the web. Okay, big picture, we want train tickets that are purchasable through the web and you could go to a store, a convenience store or a train station and buy them with a, with a modern system. They wanted a modern system. Well, what, how, where did they start? Well, they had some really smart, very agile minded people and they said, let's start. They had some drinks for one night, you know, the, the product manager <laughs> and the tech lead went ahead and had the drinks. Let's start with one convenience shop where we just put a little system in with one button, buy a ticket. And that one button would just let you buy a ticket from that station that you're at to the next big city. That's it. One way. That's it. One ticket, one button, nothing fancy. And it had to like prove that it could, you know, talk to the payment gateway and yeah. do all the other work. And they did it. They built it in a matter of days, put it into the convenience store, and they found people actually used it. They they pressed the button and they got their ticket. And they debugged a little bit. There's one little issue. Then they went on to the second convenience store and then the third and before you know it the whole thing was rolled out across the country start minimal and evolve yeah and it, it's a real story it's this is not pretend this has actually happened right i mean yeah. so you got a big goal in mind start really small